but the guys on the bus are like, oh my god, I'm, al I'm already getting fat. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time in the channel, hit subscribe right now. Well, to uh, it's like the third live release that we've made and we've already only released three studio albums. So we're kind of, yeah, releasing a studio album and then somehow making a live version out of it. Uh, the year after um because because just we we managed to do it and we have a good team around us that help us do that too so it's not too much of a hustle to put it together uh, i don't know if it's like the plan to always do that but uh Vakken just seemed like the right opportunity the right also vibe you know the right festival the right moment the right thing to capture What we're doing now and where we are at now is the, the good consequences of those releases and as Meek said earlier at the meet and greet actually yeah this we feel like we've we were born in 2019 uh, 2018 when we released the deep in the dark because because that's just the new the new lineup the new sound the new songwriting the new process and this is not to to deny or or forget what, what the band has been doing before but it's it's a bit difficult to identify with something that's been done with a completely different team, a completely different mindset. Um, yeah, we, we have this sensation that the band is not as old as it is. But yeah, we appreciate that some people still want and appreciate the, the, the past material, of course. I do believe that there is a genre that was born in Europe, this symphonic metal that that the US love because of, because maybe this is not what they would produce musically. You know, sometimes I listen to some bands and I'm like, oh, this is American. Uh, from the production, from the style, from this grooviness, you know, it's like, oh, this is an American band. And most of the time it's right. And we have to admit that most of what makes symphonic metal in our scene today are bands from the Netherlands, basically. <laughs> if you take like Nightwish and Epica within Temptation, you know. Um, so I do believe there is an appetite for what is maybe exotic for the American market and what they're not used to see every second day. You know, as you said, like uh, you've just had an Epica Sabaton tour and we're coming over, but it's not like you can get all of the European acts to your territory yet it's difficult you know to cross the atlantic so maybe yeah we do have fans here and are just happy to be back to concerts and to be able to enjoy our, our set as well well we have uh, an amazing surprise we have like a stow on our nightliner so we we are able to cook ourselves there i mean not like the three course meals every day but it feels great to just be able uh, to make your own food to buy some ingredients and, and make it like homemade rather than purchasing pre-made food or processed foods all the time of course um the venue still do not provide catering for for bands um so the food schedule itself is a little like uh shaked up but um yeah, I think I found my marks. I knew what to expect. I know where I could find what the kind of foods I'm looking for. I, I kind of started to know what brands have vegan options and those who don't. And I found my way around around that. Um, but the guys on the bus are like, oh my God, oh, I'm already getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make more sports or, or, or some feel bad because, yeah, of course, in Europe, we, we don't eat foods that contain originally so much sugar and so much fat in, in the raw ingredients themselves, like in the basic things and all the sauces and everything. So we have to adapt physically, but but it's great. Like we can't complain of being able to headline our first North American tour. <laughs> So far, I have to admit that um, I was more finishing getting ready while the set starts. So I haven't listened to 
many of the acts uh, from the tour yet. But I'm looking forward for uh, Shield of Wings that is from Chicago, right? Um, because I think they, yeah, they tagged us in some of the posts, so it raised my awareness even more about who is going to support us when, because I have to admit, I lose track of of some of our organize, organization and plans and all. But uh, I think it's really cool that bands that do the same genre manage to play with bigger European bands and that fans get to get discover like acts that, that they could like from their town. I think this is really cool. And um, hopefully we'll do we'll keep doing that in the future as well. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.